It's deserted, and from the looks of the place, I'd say they left in a hurry, too. The doors are locked and bolted. I guess the Sentinel have decided to skip town with the rest of the population. Enter, honored guest, and I would have been with you presently. I'm glad to see you're okay, Abnaxus. Should I not have been okay, April Ryan? I wasn't sure. Everybody else has left town. Yes, most everyone did. A war is coming. Shouldn't you be leaving too, then? I am, after I see you again. You shouldn't be putting yourself in danger for my sake, Abnaxus. Then, for the sake of the balance, you will find three stones, yes? I did, yeah. Just missing one now. Here, yeah, this was the stone of the Venar entrusted to me. I was to take this to Mercuria, and there hold embassy until the Kanangla will come to take it from me. You had this the whole time? Why didn't you tell me before? To have been carrying this on your journey will be too risky, April Ryan. You have it now. Four stones to make one. Now my task is done, and the veil is upon me. There is only the present and the past now. Only those two, not the future. The veil is upon us all, April Ryan. I must leave for my people to be with them in this time of darkness. Thank you for your help, Abnaxus. I will miss you. And I you, April Ryan. May the balance bless you. May the balance bless and protect us all.
I figured you'd still be here, Brian. April Bloody Ryan. <laughs> well, what do you know? It's it's good to see you, girl. <coughs> now get the hell out of Marcuria before the shit hits the fan. You're not leaving, are you, Mr. Westhouse? I... I guess I'm not. I always was an idiot. <laughs> you're not an idiot, Mr. Westhouse... Brian. You're just fighting for something you believe in, something you care about. I don't care a whittle about this bloody town. I think you do. I think you care a lot, but you hate to admit it. Yeah, well... I built this house with my own two hands, you know. First thing I ever did that I was proud of. Real proud of. I ain't about to leave it to those damn tyrant trolls waltzing in here under the pretense of defending their borders. It's the vanguard holding their leash, be sure of that. What are you gonna do when they get here? Hmm. I got an old gun locked up in the pantry. Enough bullets to take down at least mm, two dozen of those goblins. <laughs> I'm going down fighting, that's for sure. You'll be fine, I'm sure of that. Just leave the bottle be until the victory party, okay? Ah, uh, <clears throat> don't worry about that, girl. That's my last batch of real whiskey. All I got left now is bloody Marcurian wine. And believe me, you don't want to get drunk on that. <laughs> I believe you. Just take care of yourself, Brian. Take real good care. And you, Miss Ryan. I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for you. And if you ever come back this way... I promise to visit you, of course. Goodbye, Brian. So you're still here? Eh? Oh, it's just you. If you have come to use the library, I I'm afraid I must disappoint you. We're all very busy today. Very busy indeed. Don't worry, I didn't come by to do any reading today. Good. With the Tyrant army approaching, we don't have much time. Is Vestrum Tobias around? Oh, goodness. You do not know? I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but Tobias, he's dead. Murdered. No, by whom? We don't know, but we suspect Vanguard agents, of course. In the chaos of the evacuation, the soldiers had their hands full, making sure no one was trampled, and that looters were promptly apprehended. When we visited the temple after everyone had left, there were so many books and valuable artifacts we wanted to bring here uh, for safekeeping. We found Tobias by the mules he loved so dearly. He'd been stabbed in the heart. And from the looks of it, he didn't resist much at all. He probably even knew his assailant. Why Tobias? He was the kindest, gentlest man I've ever known. Always helpful, always ready to listen. I'll really miss him. So will all of us. He was a great man, and a great Vestrum, and we will never see another like him. But unfortunately, there were many who disagreed with his views, and the Vanguard... Well, they would be happy to see the end of him for good. Another reason for doing everything we can to stop them. 
Shouldn't you be leaving the city? Leaving? No, I'm staying here with my fellow Minstrom. The Enclave is our life and our home. And we're not letting the Vanguard and the Tyran army drive us away. But we will defend ourselves. With what? Books? We may look harmless, but don't judge a book by its cover. There are many of us who are skilled at magic. I can throw a pretty mean ball of fire myself. We even have swords and bows, and a few of us are well versed with deadly weaponry. So we won't be easily defeated, trust me. Good luck. And to you, the same. It's a pool of seawater. You'd think that it'd be a bad idea to have a pool inside a library on account of the moisture, but I guess magic makes everything possible. It's a rusty wheel. Excuse me. Yes? What's the rusty wheel downstairs for? The wheel? Oh, yes, the wheel. Uh, that's used for draining the water out of the pool. Good luck. And to you, the same. It's a circular hollow about 20 centimeters across and about 5 centimeters deep. It's a small recess about the size of my fist with a thin duct extending from the recess to the circular hollow in the middle of the floor. There are three others just like it, arranged with equal distance to each other in a circle and all connected via a duct to the center of the floor. Piece of the stone disc I got from the Dark People. It's the Blue Dragon's Eye Jewel. It's the second half of the piece of the stone disc entrusted to the Elation and the Merum a long time ago. It's a piece of the stone disc I got from the Banda people. something's gone wrong. It looks like something's blocking the dragon's mouth from opening up completely.
Don't tell me. You need help with something you can't get to. Nice to see you, too. Why are you so cynical? Because it seems like the only times you call me is when you need me to do something. It's never to say, Hello, Crow. What have you been up to? Or, Hey, just wanted to let you know how much I love you. Sorry. There's just so much on my mind I forget to treat my friends right. Friend? I'm your friend. Whatever you need me to do, babe, I'm there. Something's preventing that stone dragon's mouth from opening completely. Could you check it out? That's it? <laughs> Easy! Yeah, 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 I, I see what's wrong here. When was the last time they cleaned this thing? There's pigeon sh um... Uh, there's pigeon crap all over it. Some of it's so old it's almost petrified. Great. Peck it off. Peck it? Uh, no. No, 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 no. No, that's, that's disgusting. Nobody told me I was gonna be pecking pigeon crap when I joined up for this adventure. Crow? Peck it off. Yikes! Excuse me? Yes? Good luck. And to you, the same. The drainage wheel is stuck? Goodness, it is. Oh, oh why, yes, of course it is. We keep the sluices locked so that the pool is not drained by accident. Could you unlock it for me? Certainly. Uh, but why? Because I need to drain the pool. Goodness me, you do? Very well, I will unlock the sluices.
God, it's an army heading this way, and they've got the road blocked. Where's a shift when you need one? I'm in real trouble here. Come on, shift, shift. I did it last time I was scared out of my mind, and I don't feel any safer now. It's not working. I'm just gonna have to hide out in the... Oh! 